Hey bookworms, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Antonisha Lachey, I am Mrs. Moody Reader and today we are unboxing the Unplugged book box. Okay, so apologies that this is coming much later in the day than my videos normally post and today being Monday should have been a weekly reading vlog specifically it should have been a summer ween vlog but if you guys are in my discord server then you know I have been dealing with a really really bad reading slump I am finally coming out of it but summer ween was a complete bust for me so yeah I just scrapped the footage of what I started recording because even though I had a couple days worth of footage I hadn't actually read any books in those days um, and I was constantly checking in to say that I wasn't reading and it took a minute for me to just admit that I was in a reading slump and to just let it go. So today we have an unboxing so if you are new here because we have a lot of new subscribers welcome definitely check the description box below because I will have a link to my discord server where we kind of hang out and chat about bookish things and non bookish things outside of YouTube and I have a link down there for the unplugged book box um this is not a sponsored video I don't work with them I pay my own money for the subscription every month this is the second one that I've gotten so I'm assuming it's July's box um because I believe last it was June I have I have a lot of subscription boxes and a lot of them are running late and having shipping delays so by the time I get them sometimes I forget what month they're for until I actually unbox them but just very quickly the unplugged book box is a bookish book box obviously but it also has more self-care type items like it does have uh, bookish items in here as well but I really like this one because I find that some of the extra gifts and things in here are um usable they're not just bookish things that I feel like I'm just gonna sit on my shelf and never use and so I'm really really excited to get this one so we are gonna go ahead and unbox it yes this is the July box um and Unplugged has two different subscription boxes I believe they have a YA box and then they have an adult fiction box I get the adult fiction and this is for July and the theme is fearless so this is the card um and it has all the spoilers for everything in it so I'm not going to look at that just yet we're gonna get all these crinklies out that I'm gonna have to clean up in a minute um I'm in a little bit of a rush because I am starting a reading vlog today and I have to go to the library we have to go see my kids new schools really quick so let's go ahead and get started I see some really really exciting looking stuff in here and I'm excited so first thing we have Ooh, is this a scar oh, is a tapestry I think oh this is really pretty so it is a tapestry I have two on my wall here and you guys know purple is my favorite color so this is this one it says when I have a house of my own I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library that is so true I have a house of my own I have a library and I'm quite happy with it so this is very true and this is going to be very very perfect to hang I think I'm gonna I've been planning on taking down the two that I have over there those two on my wall right now and I was planning on taking them down and spreading them out or putting them somewhere and because this one is pretty tall it will take up that space perfectly so I'm very excited for that oh it's a tea towel oh well I'm gonna use it as a tapestry it's a Pride and Prejudice tea towel um it says a number of the characters in Jane Austen's classic work show a level of fearlessness in a time of gender inequality this exclusive tea towel features Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth oh I didn't even pay attention to the people on there and was designed for this box by at Abby Malaga Art I believe so yeah it's a tea towel but it's gonna look perfect as a tapestry on my wall because that's what those two up there are they're actually scarves and I'm using them as tapestry so there's that next item we have 
Ooh, this looks like something that I can use on my bar. So I have a coffee bar and then I have like a bar bar. Um, I don't drink as much alcohol, like liquor, hard liquor. I drink mostly like craft beers and wine, but I do drink um, alcohol from time to time and I do have a full bar. Ooh, I like this. So it is a, oh, I'm sorry, it is so shiny. It is a um, juicer, like a lemon squeezer. And it says the one lemon squeezer to rule them all um so yeah so it will be great on my bar or i can just use it in my kitchen because you guys know i drink a lot of tea and so being able to squeeze lemon into my tea would be great um it's the lord of the rings lemon squeezer it says frodo baggins from jrr tolkien's lord of the Rings series fearlessly leaves home with the help of friends on an adventure to save their civilization be careful this lemon squeezer has the power to rule all it's an unplugged exclusive so that is pretty cool next thing we have here is it's like some tea yes it's from it looks like the simply bookish co it's fearless it's an herbal cold brew tea blended for the unplugged book box um it's so tiny and i don't have my reading glasses on to see all of the ingredients and this i think is a tea like a tea strainer or a tea steak which you guys know i'm in love with especially since i started my java mama business and i am drinking a lot well i've been drinking a lot of tea but it's really really pretty i like it um uh, i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it so it's just a silo it's a silicone tea strainer and then this has a butterfly on it i don't know if it's gonna focus because it's so light um this says where is it yes it says all boys aren't blue tea oh cool it says george m johnson's book fearlessly features personal essays touching on gender identity marginalization brotherhood and more this tea was made by the simply bookish co um i think it says it's um a rooibos tea it's got apple hibiscus lemon rose hip stevia leaf marigold cornflower petals rose natural fruit flavors i think that's what it says but um that is the loose tea and you guys know i love me some loose tea and then that is the label and the packaging on it and then the tea strainer the butterfly tea strainer says butterflies often symbolize the idea of courage to embrace transformation this tea strainer is from team unplugged awesome awesome i am always about more tea and tea strainers and this is what i was talking about why i really like this box because it's like there are bookish items um but there are also items that you can use in your everyday life like the lemon squeezer and the tea strainer and things like that so i'm really really excited oh this is this is like this box is so perfect considering that i just started my java mama business and i'm drinking a lot more tea um between the lemon squeezer the um tea strainer and there is a honey stick in here which is really cool because i just got some new organic honey too um wait is there honey in here too it says emily dickinson honey and dipper <gasps> oh there is honey in here it says dickinson's pure honey all of that is cool it's like wait is there honey here so there's a little glass jar of honey oh this is so perfect um where'd it go it says emily dickinson was a groundbreaking poet from her time her fearless attitude in expressing who she was through her words continues to inspire writers and readers to this day this is an exclusive honey dipper featuring a quote from dickinson oh wow i didn't even notice that yeah there is a little quote kind of etched on it. i don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it it says the pedigree of honey does not concern uh, the pedigree of honey does not concern the bee a clover anytime to him is aristocracy hmm. not familiar with that quote i have not read very much from emily dickinson so there's um there is that but i'm really really excited yeah it's pure honey and i literally was just talking about i just bought some more honey and now i have even more so honey and honey dipper i'm really really excited about this box and we're still going so this starts all the plastic noises we got a mess to clean up so this is eloise tea cake books mystery it says i truly believe i'm quite capable of something more 
is an avocado body butter and this is from uh petrichor ink it's an unplugged exclusive and i think petrichor ink made the i think it's a body spray we have over there oh i can smell this through the seal and oh it smells so good it it almost smells like it has coconut in it maybe I don't know let's see it smells like it has coconut it smells really good and my husband loves coconut smelling things too it is a bridgerton body butter that's eloise yeah there's a bridgerton body butter it says each character in bridgerton has to bravely find themselves and overcome certain challenges this body butter came in four different varieties simon eloise daphne and lady whistledown which one did you get it's an exclusive by petrichor inc um so i got eloise let's see you can hear my kids it does not say what's in it but it smells like it has and the reason i'm thinking it has coconut in it because i have a cantu body butter that smells very similar to this and it has coconut in it and i don't like the flavor of coconut i don't like the taste of coconut but i love the smell of coconut in body products and my husband does too so i'm really really excited about that and then we have so, so we have a bookmark. Um, it says talk about the books. Hashtag Gargoyle Queen, Capture the Crown, Tear Down the Throne, and Conquer the Kingdom by Jennifer Estep. Estep, and it's a so it is a bookmark. Oh, I don't know if you can see it because it's so bright with the white. But it's a bookmark that you can color in. Um, Capture the Crown. Oh, is there two? Oh, there's two books in here. So this goes with one of the books okay so there's two books in here so capture the crown is one of the books in here um this is a postcard from the author of the stranger behind you which is carol goodman so that's another book so there's two books in here so this is a postcard to go with the second book and then this is a postcard to go from jennifer Eastup, i guess the author of capture the crown i love these little kind of postcard notes i'm trying to see the correct way to hold it there we go because there's a clock on it so if that one we have a signed author plate by carol goodman which you may not be able to see because it's so bright and then we have this other um postcard it's journal prompts to overcome fear and this is from the unplug book box it's ways to embrace on one side you have ways to embrace courage and then on this side you have journal prompts to overcome fear so i'm really excited about that since i'm getting into journaling more so let's let's see so we have two books this month i'm really excited like i loved all the extra stuff but i got two books okay let's see so they are both paperbacks I'm loving so the first one we have is capture the crown by Jennifer Eastep it says it's a gargoyle queen novel and based on this card it says this new release epic fantasy is the first in a new series and features a bold heroine who displays bravery throughout the novel it released July 6th of this year through Harper Collins um, the synopses it says um, Best-selling author Jennifer Eastep returns to her crown of shards world. Please let me know if I'm pronouncing this author's last name incorrectly. Is it Eastep or Estep? Not sure. It says returns to her crown of shards world with an all-new trilogy and a bold new heroine who protects her kingdom from magic, murder, and mayhem by moonlighting as a spy. You guys know I love spies. Gemma Ripley has a reputation for being a pampered princess who is more interested in pretty gowns, sparkling jewelry, and other frivolous things than in learning how to rule the kingdom of Anvari. But her carefully crafted persona is just an act to hide the fact that she is a powerful mind major and a spy. Gemma is undercover trying to figure trying to figure out who is stealing large amounts of tear stone from one of the Ripley royal mines when she encounters Prince Leonidas. Prince Leonidas Morricone of Morta, her mortal enemy. That is a lot of M's. Gemma, uh, Gemma tries to steer clear of the handsome prince, but when she finds herself behind enemy lines, she reluctantly joins forces with Leonidas. Also coming to Gemma's aid is Grimly, her beloved gargoyle. Oh my God. 
animal companions and it's freaking gargoyle oh my God. okay i'm excited despite the fact that anvari and morda are old bitter enemies a dangerous attraction sparks between Gemma and leonidas further complicating matters is leonidas's murderous family especially queen maven morricone the mastermind behind the infamous seven spire massacre the closer Gemma gets to the stolen tear stone the more deadly plot she uncovers everyone is trying to capture the crown but only one queen can sit on the throne I am really excited about this. I've never heard about this author before, never heard about this book. Um, but I'm really, really excited. And it says that this author is returning to her Crown of Shards world. So this is a new trilogy, but I'm assuming there's another series that is set in the same world. So I may have to look into that. I, like I said, I'm getting ready to go to the library as soon as I finish filming this. So I may have to go look this author up and see if I can find the other trilogy that she wrote in this world i gotta do some research but i'm really excited got you got y'all know i love spies you don't know i love gargoyles i really love animal companions in fantasies but it depends on what animal it is i'm not a huge dragon fan i love phoenixes i love gargoyles so i'm really really excited about this and then the next one is the stranger behind you by carol goodman it says you never know who is watching um according to the card it says this new thriller features a fearless protagonist that has some troubling views and actions this twisty novel released on july 6th of this year through hopper collins as well um says you're never really alone a captivating exploration of sexual harassment friendship ambition and how women join together to overcome trauma it is as classic as it is timely as heartbreaking as it is suspenseful journalist Joan Lurie has written a seething article exposing a notorious newspaper tycoon as a sexual predator but the night it goes live she is brutally attacked traumatized and suffering the effects of a concussion she moves into a highly secure apartment building in Manhattan called the refuge which was at one time a Magdalene laundry Joan should be safe here, so how can she explain the cryptic incidents that are occurring? Lillian Day is Joan's new 96-year-old neighbor at the refuge. In 1941, Lillian witnessed a mysterious murder that sent her into hiding at the Magdalene Laundry, and she hasn't come out since. As she relates her harrowing story to Joan, Joan sees striking similarities to her own past. Melissa Osgood, newly widowed and revengeful, has burning questions about her husband's recent death. When she discovers a suspicious paper trail that he left behind, she realizes how little she knew about her marriage, but it seems Joan Laurie might be the one who has the answers. As these three lives intersect, each woman must stay one step ahead of those who are desperate to make sure the truth is never uncovered. I'm really, really excited about this one. I'm trying to see Melissa. Let's see, Melissa joan so it looks like we have at least dual perspectives i don't know if we have all three so we do have at least melissa and joan's perspectives um do we have lillian's perspective i don't know i don't know if lillian's i don't see it i just see melissa and joan so we have at least two different perspectives i'm really really excited about this because i have a bit of an issue when I see books that have women that are so against each other and that are tearing each other down. So the fact that all three of these women, um, although they're not going through similar experiences, they are going through some experience that is causing them to have to seek refuge at this place called the refuge. And the fact that they are bonding together and supporting each other um, and sharing their stories with each other and things like that. I'm really, really excited to see that. I just, I like seeing that in books. I like seeing, like I said, women coming together and supporting each other in their times of need instead of using that time of need as an opportunity to tear each other down. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see what is going on with this. This sounds really, really good. So there is that. And the last thing that we have in here, yep get all my little postcards together so I don't drop it and the last thing we have in here is the um spoiler card for not spoiler card the theme card for August so for the adult fiction box got cardboard everywhere the adult fiction box the theme is come as you are just this one and there is a hot air balloon in there so I'm excited to see what that is about and then for the young adult fiction box it says something wicked this way comes so I'm really excited about that one as well um I don't I need to check and see I'm pretty sure you can buy boxes like one off if there are any left after the subscribers get theirs because I may be interested in getting that YA box just because of the whole something wicked this way comes 
um and then they have some sneak peeks on the back for august so the adult fiction boxes will feature a two-part item inspired by friends which i know is very popular i never i think i've watched episodes here and there of friends but i never was really into it um and then it says the young adult boxes will feature a usable item inspired by edgar edgar Allan poe's tales okay i am definitely if i can get my hands on a young adult box i'm definitely getting it i love edgar Allan poe and like I said, this whole something wicked this way comes it looks very interesting. So I'm going to keep my subscription for my adult fiction, but I think I might try to get my hands on the young adult box as well. So that is it for the unplugged book box for July. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have a subscription to unplugged or what boxes do you have subscriptions to. Um, let me know if you are enjoying me doing these unboxings. I said I wanted to start doing more unboxings on the channel. As of right now, I've only done two unplugs because I'm still waiting on the Luma Crate boxes that were running late. I think I have an Owl Crate. I don't think it's my box. I think it's a special edition book that I ordered that's coming today. Um, you may, you guys may see it in the reading vlog because if it's just the book I think that it is, then I will probably just unbox it in the reading vlog and then I'll talk about it when I do my June book hauls. But yeah, so let me know. If you guys are interested in me continue doing these unboxings of these different sub boxes, um, I know that everyone is not able to be able to afford to get all these different subscription boxes. Um, I'm the type of person I don't really buy a lot of like clothes and shoes and bags and that type of thing. I spend my money on books and so um, I try to get as many as I can. I'm still I've been on the wait list, wait list for fairy loot for like a year now so I don't know if I'm ever going to get fairy loot but I am enjoying doing these unboxes unboxings for you guys so let me know if you want me to keep doing them give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you have not already and i will see you all in the next one bye